So interesting predicament you guys are in. Let's talk about that. Yeah, why do we swallow gems? <laughs> so for those who don't know, a little recap would be that you are in the employ of, or you're doing services for a leech called Hayes. He asked you to go to the Library of Arn to retrieve books of the great mages from the times of chaos and the times of heroes. Now, before you left, he made sure that you, well, he asked you, in fact, to swallow a container with red crystals in. Now, these had impacts when they went down. They scratched the sides of your internal system, and we rolled for that. So I can go through those. Oryx, you rolled a six. Nomo rolled a five. Laius rolled a five. Iki rolled a three. Pevel rolled a four. Hector rolled a five. I'm saying that to you because it's relevant. Could we not just poop it out? You don't know. You've never... <laughs> well, I don't, to your knowledge, I don't think you've swallowed crystals before. <laughs> not personally, no. <laughs> He was extremely terrifying, so we couldn't really not do it. Are we doing something and getting under threat or under promise of payment? Both. Okay. If, if we do it quick enough, it reward us. If we don't do it within three weeks, I think we're dead. <laughs> oh, right. So on, on the way back from the library, does he want us to do, do shopping for us as well? <laughs> Pick up his dry cleaning. <laughs> dry cleaning. <laughs> yes, you have some thousand-year-old robes. This is the future of the role-play, where with the bitches of this leech, we just... <laughs> it's, it's, it's chores. And... Could be, could be. <laughs> and the first day so far... So, yeah, so in a sense, the clock is ticking on you. For those who weren't there, yes, you believe that Arn is the ancient word for Arlatla, which is the city on the map in the northwest, so top left of the map. On the first day, you went back to the pub where Deus worked, where you had a meal the day before. So you went back and rested. You traded, you sorted out your equipment, because not only did you acquire some equipment, but you were given some items by Hayes the leech. In your case, Hector, you were given the Stone of Good Luck. I have added the properties, so the rolls should automatically have the good luck added to it. Okay, which roll? One to saving throws and one to ability skill checks. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, it's a very useful stone. And Thank also, you. uh, Rob, your strength's been increased. So it's now 14. Ooh, back the truck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you decided to take that day's rest. After that, you went to the blacksmith, sorted out some items, and you headed off. I believe Pebble was particularly interested in having items to trade with tribes who could help you get across the Dar. Using the road, you were heading towards the marshes in the west. You had got to the crossroads, so if you see the map, you're approximately north of Midnis, the town, mm -hmm. and you're travelling from the west. There's this crossroads which goes to Midnis, all the way up to the Mara Society, and also goes from east, the Zarian Mountains, to the west, which is the swamp, which is where you are heading. Essentially, you are in a green bank, it's grassland. You saw to the south three guards. One spotted you, beckoned to the other two, and they started galloping towards you. And that's where we left it. So here we go. What would you like to do as they gallop towards you? Are we on horseback? Yes, you have your horses. Are they humanoid we were... guards? They are humanoid guards. And I say, oh, they're from Midness. Let's book it, as you say. The people that we pissed off and escaped from, where are they from? Midness. They okay. were from Midness. Oh, I should also say, of course, that the environment, it's still as it was, so it's still fiery clouds everywhere. Oh, All right. Cool. Wouldn't it be handy if we had a sudden bank of fog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to um, look at them and... and... Shake your head. Yeah. <laughs> and wait. <laughs> I think you are on the back of the horse that I'm steering. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just hold tight Is there any cover? There are trees but they're further off than the guards themselves otherwise, no, there's not much cover I guess we could run away um, talk or just fight Or I could use my rod and create a giant fog cloud What a good idea! 
That's what you want to do? Yep. Yes, I'll do that. Okay. So you raise your rod, and out of it erupts this spell. Bloody hell, where did this fuck come from? <laughs> Into an area in front of him, I'm guessing. Yes. So you, you hear some commotion, and you hear them saying, Wait, wait! What do you guys do when I do? If they're saying wait rather than halt or we'll kill you, maybe they have something important to tell us. Why don't you fly over and ask them? Yeah, all right, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. I'll slow the horse up and turn around and have a dart ready. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll get down from the horse and, and walk towards the cloud. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Not Incidentally, sure. how high do you fly, Vicky? Um, Way up to the sky, but I can't. You can. I can't. <laughs> so I'm probably 20 feet up. Okay. So I'm out of reach of them trying to swing at me, but, you know. Close sure. enough so I can hear them. Sure, sure. At that level, you can feel a slight crackle of um, energy f- above you, but you're not that close to the clouds above, and 20 feet from the ground, you feel stable. Cool. Okay, so you fly, clouds are below you. Give me your next action. Well, I'm going to fly up to these people who are telling us to wait and ask them what they want to tell us. Okay. They emerge from the size of the cloud, and... Looking around with surprise, they then see you. They are taken aback at first, has to be said. (laughs) And then he holds up his hand and says, We mean only to inquire, friend. We were surprised to find anyone in this, moving around in these conditions. The festival has been postponed in such foul weather as these. What is the inquiry you wish to make? I say from... Behind the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> we seek information and possibly any help you have, for I have lost my daughter, taken from my house. Do you know what took her? Was it the pox? From the foul smell, I would suggest it's some kind of creature. I fear it may be trolls. Trolls? I make a motion to smell Oryx. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a perception check. Okay. Oh, yeah. You don't think he's a troll. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen no trolls. Or have we? I don't think we have. <laughs> Not that I recall. Or if indeed you have any skills, I'd be most appreciative of your help. Is it on the way to the library? Library, <laughs> sir? I, 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 I don't know what you mean. The library of Um. We have urgent business in Ariatla. If we can help you on the way, we'll do so. We can keep an ad for her. It may not take long. I hope we can find her. It's a matter of urgency in any case. They won't let her live long. Where do you think she is? We traced her tracks north of the town, but we lost them some 200 yards back. That's when we saw you. John, can I detect evil on him? Sure you can. Thank you. Are you subtle about it, or do you just wave your hands and... Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! No, no, no. No, 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 be subtle. I'll be subtle. Okay. (laughs) Okay, you start to try and detect evil. There is a sense of evil (laughs) coming from Hector there. Oh. I I, I wink. I'll face the other direction. (laughs) But no, you don't sense any particular evil from these guards. He's he's looking around. He looks quite distressed, this guy. Can you help me? Her name is Shana. The tracks you are following, um, how fresh were they? How how far away might they be? And when did she go missing? It could have been in the early hours of the morning. So it can't be more than six hours or so. I turn to the group. Are any of you particularly good at the tracking? Not me, no. I can't see the nose in front of my face. I scratch my head. I say, well, if you give us another horse, then we might be quicker, we might be able to have a little look, but we're promising nothing. (laughs) We can certainly discuss uh, a payment of sorts. A horse could be possible. I'll show you where we last found some tracks. Maybe you'll find something there. Uh, Sure, let's let's have a look. I'm in favour. 
I'm not in favor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello senses nothing about them. They are good. <laughs> I've seen Keen, and I, I want to go and see where they last thought they had a trail. Okay. There might be treasure mm. there, Oryx. Yes, but would you rather track down trolls or do stuff for a lich? Plus, our, <laughs> life's are, our life is on the line for the lich. Yeah, but we've still got, like, two weeks. We're good. Well, two, <laughs> two weeks minus a day, maybe. If the authority can't find her, I doubt us criminals could do. Who are you calling a criminal? But Oryx, I, I am quite the trucker. I, I may well be able to find him. You're quite the trucker. Quite the trucker. 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 Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Promising nothing about tracking, but trucking. How many Yorkie bars? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yorkies. So, it sounds like you're going with. I'm going with, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By himself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, we'll see you at the library, Oryx. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's coming. Okay. So they take you down the path towards Midness. Nice. And further down, they stop a little patch here by the side of the path. They said, this is where we last found tracks. I want to say, uh, quick conference, guys, and, and try and get everybody together out of earshot of these people. I said, just, just hang on a minute, please. I don't go. I go up to the tracks and say, ah, oh, yes. And I... I get down on my hands and knees and start smelling them. I forgot the keys. Uh, I just want to mention to uh, the group, would this maybe be some sort of ambush plan from the guards at Midness? No, I... Oh, well, Potentially. It could be a, a trap, <laughs> yes. We should be on our toes. Okay, just thought I just wanted to mention that. Mm. Yes, we're not entirely gullible. Besides, no. I don't recognise their uniforms. Are they wearing uniforms, John? Yes. Were they I the recognise the uniforms. Guards of Midness? You would recognise them as guards of Midness. Ah, yeah, this, thing, this thing stinks. Wouldn't they know me? Then? They haven't yet seen you because there was a cloud of fog in front of you and then you'd be right south. So, yes, they may well know you, being a cleric of the town. Oh, that would link me to you lot. Oh. So uh, are we riding with them then, are we? Or? You are currently riding and you've stopped. They haven't yet turned around. Oh, I'll cover my face. <laughs> okay. But they've... I'm now thinking we should turn back, personally. They've seen me, though, yes. right? They've seen me, yeah. and I'm a big bird person. Like, I think uh, that would probably... Well, yeah. and, and that's what makes it more suspicious that they're not, you know, recognising you as somebody that, you know, is famous in town for beating their way out of their jail, right? There's See, no reaction from them at all. Yeah, I suppose. I'm just going to follow them. Go up to the point where they say the tracks are and start smelling the ground. Can I make an insight check to just see if I believe that, you know, what they're saying is true? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm rolling it now. <laughs> is that something yes. I can do as well? Yes, you can do an insight check. Uh, you both believe that he is desperate. Okay. Okay. I'm going to continue to be, you know, wary, but I think that he's probably telling the truth. Yeah, I've changed my mind. I feel better. Okay. <laughs> I was just using that as an excuse to go do the liches. <laughs> bidding anyway, so. Okay, so currently Hector's still sniffing away. What are you guys doing? So I, I just had a look at my stats and realised I'm actually quite good at tracking things. <laughs> so um, I'm going to make a survival check to see if I can see where the tracks might lead. Okay, yeah, yep. me too, while I'm here. Whilst you're sniffing, wow. yeah. You are using up all your good rolls right now. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you uh, you found some horse manure there, Ben. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I stand up triumphant and say, ah, yeah, I believe I can follow this trail. <laughs> Flex of stuff still on your nose. <laughs> Icky, you do believe that the way that the path is indented and then some dents yep. in the grass, you believe the trail goes this way into the forest. You can follow it somewhere, you think. I'll tell everyone. I found some tracks. I think I can follow them. The guy who introduces himself as Friedel looked very excited by this. He says, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And he says, I've got this equipment here. If you would come with us, then that would be so, so useful. And he says, I have here some arrows of fire and arrows of acid. Ooh. My good man, the arrows will be most useful, but I'm afraid we work better alone. 
I will need one of your horses, whichever one I like the best, and then we will retrieve your daughter and bring her back to you. <coughs> Human <Make> shield. <coughs> we can use them. <laughs> um, make a persuasion check. NPCs don't last long with us. He seems alarmed by this. He says, I really want to be there to find my daughter. We work best alone. You risk your daughter's death if you do not agree, and we will just carry on with our mission, which is oh, rather more God. important anyway. It's up to you. I say the more the merrier. Yeah, me too. Here we all. He looks to you, hopefully. Come with us. We would not deny a father seeing his daughter say. No, no, no. They'll just slow us down. Now give me one of your horses and wait here. I promise you a horse if you carry out this mission. We need. I need a horse. I'm bored of travelling on the back. But we no, journey into the woods. Well, we're walking anyway. We're wasting want... time here. Yes. You want a lot of things, Hector. Hector, I'll touch you on the shoulder and go, let it go, mate, let it go. Let the grieving father come and see his daughter. Let it go, mate, let it go, go on. I, I, I shake my head disdainfully <laughs> and, and point to the horses. I'm having that one when, we, when we're finished. Of course. And a good choice, too. This one was newly acquired. A very fine horse. How many acid and fire arrows do you have? I've bought as many as I could find. I have ten fire arrows. And acid? I only found five of those. Who here uses a bow? You. I do. I do. The bow of pedal. <laughs> Can I take the acid and just a couple of the fire arrows? I've got pretty good aim. Okay, yep. Yeah. So you take a couple of acid, a couple of fires. I'll take uh, three fires. But elves are better with bows, technically, aren't they? So you, you take them. He will have whatever you don't have. So that's free who has the short bow. Then please, please, my good bird man, please lead on. Bird woman, thanks. Bird yes, woman, I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Monty Python sketch right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I follow the track. Okay. Lead everyone else. It takes you up to this area here. And roll another one for me, please. Okay. I'll roll one to you. Mm -hmm. Not quite as good. Is Hector getting his tracking on? No. <laughs> <laughs> Better than me, but still. <laughs> okay, it takes you up to here, where you lose the okay. scent. You lose the trail. Okay. But you can look around. Yeah, I'll make a perception. Okay. In the undergrowth, you soon see that there's a larger than normal hole right here. Aha. Uh -huh. What's this big red bush? I believe that's poison ivy. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> could Good be, ass. could be. <laughs> so Friedel looks to you, and in fact, it's one of the young guards. He says, do we have a plan? Are we just going to go in there? Well, what happened to the last hole we went down? <laughs> We got a weasel, haven't we? Let's use that. I go up to the hole and look down and see if it's a drop or stairs or, or whatever I can see. It's a slanting, it's a sloping hole. I'll roll my weasel down. You roll, you roll weasel. your weasel down. <laughs> All right. It is bendable. The weasel is rolled and it has a chance to look. The first thing that your weasel notices is the smell. The stench is quite appalling to its sensitive nose and inside there is a large room essentially with a few bits of earth still clinging together some crude furniture and there's a cauldron which seems to be bubbling away in the corner um i'm gonna go into my weasel's body and look inside the cauldron okay really do you want to give me a stealth i think the girl might be in the cauldron it's worth, oh, worth checking. You effectively stealth to the cauldron and look in. You don't see anything in there. There are some basic vegetable ingredients, but no meat. Could I look around the room? Yeah, if you just want to look around, give me a perception. Eight. <laughs> it's still dark and the stench is ever present. It's not easy to really gauge anything from where you are. There are some tunnels leading off it. I'll tell everybody it's safe down there. <laughs> okay, and what does the weasel do? 
The weasel will just come back up. And the weasel emerges. So you didn't see anything? You didn't see the girl or any trolls? No. Were there any passageways or...? There's a bunch of tunnels leading off of it. Is there any way of That's luring it. trolls out of their lair? Yeah, if we make noise. Yeah. I could go down and explore. I am quite good at moving quietly. Yeah, I'm not too bad either. If you want somebody with you or if you want to go on your own, that's fine. I'll check for other entrances and exits into this cave. Mm, okay. On the surface. So any other holes around? Sure, sure. Uh, do nature or perception? I perceive something, I think. <laughs> you find a small hole a little further along, which is underneath a bush. From this, in fact, a lot of heat. Oh, it's the vent for the fire. Chimney. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, that's an idea. Let's cover it up. Ooh. That's, that might that's a good idea. Oh, yes. Yeah. What about the girl? Oh, well, she'll come running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll cover it up and block any smoke coming out of it. That's a good idea. And in the meantime, I will go down the hole and stealthily take one of the passageways which goes to roughly where the heat may have been coming from, as stealthily as I can. Do you want help, Hector? I'll ask him before he goes down there. I motion to follow. Okay, I'll go with him. I'll follow down, but stay in the kind of entrance cave. Cool. Okay. I've got an acid arrow knocked. I'm looking for other exits and entrances on the surface. Sure. Sorry to split the party up, John. <laughs> No, that's good. So what you're doing is you're looking around, you're getting bits of material covering the vent. So I'm making sure that there is more than one way in or out, basically. And we should be able to figure out where they are, or at least where their fire is from where the smoke is coming inside the caves. The father asks, uh, do you want me there? Uh, shall I come? I've got some arrows ready. I say, wait, if you hear us shouting, then come running. Right. Um, I would suggest him to stay with me, because I'm just going to stay in the first cave. Okay. Oryx, what are you doing? I'm just going to go down there and look around. Okay. I don't know where Pebble is. I'm assuming he's cowering somewhere. I think I'll help you gather some material. I'll yes, help you gather some material. That's exactly what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring you down there then. Okay, one second. Okay, as you go down this tunnel, this is what you see. Oryx is very familiar to you. That's a cauldron placed in the corner there. And there is a good fire going on. You got a lot of smoke coming from that direction. Yeah, decide what you want to do. Can we hear anything? You can hear the bubbling of the cauldron. You can hear some sort of scuffling coming from this area over here. Scuffling from there? Yes. Okay, um, I put my finger to my lips and I try and stealthily kind of come over here so I can have a look at what's going on. Okay, give me stuff. Everyone or just Hector? He's the only one who's done anything, so just Hector at the moment. Okay, good roll. Wow, yep, it's straight over here. You can see a large, humanoid, hairy body and it's leaning over some sort of appliance making a chopping motion right over here. That was some good suspense. <laughs> I like that. Um, is he carrying any women? I think she is a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like she's carrying anything. More that she's mangling or dissecting whatever she's working on there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Okay, um, I cast Dancing Lights, and I make them all go together to so they create a humanoid shape. Oh, okay. I this create is... that around there. All right, nice. Now, just to check, is there any verbal part of that spell? I'll, I'll have a look. I doubt a cantrip has. I think they're, it's pretty... they're normally very basic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you do a light spell. And so does the light create any heat I'm interested in? Dancing lights. Um, it's just lights. Oh, 
Okay, if it's dancing light, then, I, then it would reflect off whatever surface she's working on. After a moment, there's a... <laughs> and then it turns around. I feign a voice saying, I am very disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around. Hey! You Tried said to... you weren't going to do this anymore. What language do you use for this? Um, comment. Okay. What's this? What's this? And starts clawing at the light object. I, I don't know what will happen if you interfere with it. It's just illusion and nothing would happen. It's just a glowing figure. And it doesn't have any kind of body to it. It would just go through it, I guess. I make the light split up and then reform behind her to try and um, confuse her. And so she's looking away from us. Uh-huh. And then I, I motion the rest of the guys to kind of come up. So we start moving towards her quietly. Okay, give me stealth rolls with advantage, each of you. Okay. Appears to be focused on trying to either swat or make out what the hell's going on. It doesn't hear you. I make the... Well, I say, where is the girl? <laughs> say, well, say again. There's some, some weird echo thing. Wow. Going. That's quite trippy. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, and I make the I make the figure wag its finger, or hand hands probably. <laughs> All right. Um, make a decision: intimidation or persuasion. Whatever you're trying to do there. Um. I think probably intimidation. Intimidation. Yes. All right. <laughs> it's a natural one. I know. Yes. Maybe through. You are sneaking, and your whispering hesitation comes out and doesn't really affect the troll. Starts clawing at it more urgently, trying to make it go away. I, I like, ha, 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 ha. Starts looking around. I'm just going to fire an arrow at it. <laughs> Picks up its club, trying to thump the thing into oblivion. And yes, okay. make at, this, at this point, I put a, an arrow to my bow as well. I'm going to motion around for everyone to do the same thing. And I'm going to use the firebolt cantrip. All right. I think basically this is a surprise action, so go for it. So all fire. Everyone, yeah. Go to it. Did you all miss? <laughs> it all missed. It all... <laughs> was, was it advantage, though, because of surprise? Let's hold on. Give me a quick moment. Let me have a quick look. Yes, you're right. Basically, advantage oh. roll is if hidden from target, you have an advantage roll. So use your advantages on this. Oh wow, that's <laughs> helpful. <laughs> yeah, you all you all, all hit things. essentially, because yeah, yeah it has no oh. idea you're there. Yeah. Okay, how, <laughs> how much I, extra I damage to the, to the fire and acid arrows do? I say it's six. It's a plus six. So, plus six. But it's very useful against trolls. Okay. Um, do I get Bye, a sneak right. attack for this? Yes. Yes, you do. If you get advantage on attack, you get sneak attack. So it's plus six damage for the fire. I do 17 in total then. Whoa, swear, Terry! <laughs> that was Oryx. Oh my. So magic attacks can get critical hits in there, so you double your damage roll. Or roll it twice, rather. Alright. So 10 fire damage then for Oryx. 10 damage? Amazing. Uh. That's a heck lot of damage you just did in one round there against this troll. <laughs> it's howling and roll initiative. Because you bet it's going to attack you. <laughs> okay, is that everyone? Oh, and the guard, of course, initiative. Icky, you're up. Cool. Um... Troll's turned around, knows you're there. But you got to survive uh... another round yet. Yeah? <laughs> hmm. Well, I might as well just charge it. Spear attack. Cow. And then bonus unarmed attack. Oof, miss. Okay. The first one hits, right? It does, yes. Yeah. So that's minus 10. Oh. It looks badly hurt. <laughs> you, you, you can see the wounds, um, the acid and the fire in the wounds. It's keeping them open. It's a good idea to keep just hitting the small arrows or whatever. Sorry, Ralph, when Icky walks, does her head move backwards and forwards like a pigeon? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, but she tends to like fly most places. So, feels so funny. The giant <laughs> pigeon charging at me with a spear. Ooh. Oh my! And then and then kicking you. Uh, 
<laughs> Fantastic. So if you wanted to use oh, it's fire another arrow. um fire arrow, so another plus six. Plus another plus sneak attack. Oh and sneak attack, yep. Yeah. Oh, because you're adjacent? Because Icky's there, you mean? <laughs> oh good point actually, yeah. That doesn't count, I don't think. You don't get the sneak attack. Okay. Yeah, getting sneak attacks with range attacks is a bit more annoying in this, but it's still fifteen total for, with the fire arrow. Yeah. Yep, so it's minus six. Look at that. This is going rather well. It's down. <laughs> oh, she falls to the floor after... Excellent. Yeah. Great job. And the body just seems to steam, and the wounds are not closing. Um, I go up to it, weapon drawn, and chop its head off to be sure. Not a problem. You do that. I've heard Good of idea. bad trolls. You can hear some movement coming from the right-hand side. In fact, you hear... Okay. Almost as an echo, you hear, "Daddy, mummy." I, I to the left of you, you the... hear that you hear the word, "Daddy." To the right of you, you hear, you hear the word, "Mummy." Okay, I, I go back and I reform the dancing light figure. Okay, what do you do? I get it to stand there above the body, saying, "This is what happens <laughs> to trolls who are naughty." <laughs> and you see this troll wander out and say. What's going on? I'm afraid I had to kill your father. Mother. Mother. As, soon as, they, as soon as they see it, I'm shooting it. I don't have a father. Your mother, then. He was killed by a guard. A guard that looks just like you. Just like me? Are what, you? A, a light thing? You. Can I, can I shoot him? No. Oh my god, are you And the guard children? starts rampaging and runs towards the guard here and attacks him. Oh. You killed my daddy! <laughs> Completely misses. Nomo fires, does a critical hit. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> With an acid arrow. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Roll an extra d6 and double it. Dad, yeah, you're cruel! <laughs> Little trolls growing to big trolls. Okay. So another another six. Wow, okay. Twenty one damage. Looks furious with rage. That was a lot to lose in one go that I'm gonna make a roll or save, I think. How big is the young troll out of interest? Medium size. Okay. It's about six foot. Yeah, they're not cute. Okay, yep, it's still raging, it's it's gonna attack. It's gonna join the initiative. So it starts up again. Um, Oryx, what do you want to do? I'm going to go look for the girl. <laughs> okay, where, where do you go? That's movement. Um, Sorry, it must be getting quite smoky in there. Well, I want to see what the troll mm. was dissecting. The big troll. Okay. Okay, you take a look around the room. You, you, you purvey what's going on. It appears to be some sort of meat. Do you want to make a nature check? <laughs> You don't know, <laughs> that looks frightening like what the girl could have looked like. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the girl's dead. Okay, is that your turn? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the sergeant's going to, um, he's just going to defend himself for all he can. He's going to make a dodge action. So he's just going to make sure that the troll has a disadvantage on its next roll. It's trying to just avoid the troll's outreaching claws. Back to the top then, Icky. I'm going to come down and take a look at what the troll was dissecting. Okay, yeah, the same. A uh, nature check. Okay, you think it's something like a deer. You don't think it's a human. <laughs> there are no signs of cloves or anything. The fur and antlers kind of give it away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the red nose. <laughs> Um, okay, so with the rest of my go, mm -hmm. so I took like one step there, if that. Um, yeah, that was so a bonus I'm, action. I'm going to move to there and I'm going to try and grapple the troll if I can. Okay, give me so... athletics check. Take it size out. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, okay, well. that, that comprehensively <laughs> fails. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can't get a good grab on it. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, you yeah. you launch in and, and you slip and grab the father instead. <laughs> um, I use next. all this mm -hmm. goings on to go in and do a sneak attack to the little trolley. 
Yep, you can definitely do that. Or I try. At least. <laughs> <laughs> the troll is all friendly right now, so decide to, to to attack. Six is Hector. One is the father. Three is Icky. Turns and, and flays at you, Icky. Oh my god, this is a, a terrible fight. <laughs> <laughs> From this clinical assassination of the, the big troll. To, yeah. Swings around violently and hits itself in the face for two damage. <laughs> Nomo. I will do a fire arrow this time. Okay. Oh, make sure you don't hit Icky. Uh. Nomo is owning this. <laughs> okay, um, and do an extra d6. Oh my wow. god. It looks very badly hurt. You should do fire darts. <laughs> Oryx, I say you've, you've calmed down from your moment of panic. Um, <laughs> he, just, he just walked in and said, it's a deer. Um, so what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to go check another room. Okay, which direction? One beside, to oh, the right. Okay, you go in here and indeed in the corner, tied up, looking very frightened, is a little girl. And definitely alive. Is that you? Says the little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Rob. I'm enjoying this. That's all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, that, no, that, that was good. I enjoyed it. Don't hurt me! <laughs> I'm going to go untie her. Okay. Rob, how does she respond to this? Get away! Who are you? She seems frightened, Oryx. What do you do? I'm going to tell her that her dad's out there and I'm going to bring her to her dad. Ooh, daddy! (laughs) (laughs) That's exactly how it happens. (laughs) Super. That was 21. (laughs) (laughs) What, the daughter? (laughs) That'd be funny, yeah. 21 year old daughter. Um, Okay. Her name's Chelsea. (laughs) <laughs> so the sergeant is going to uh, well he hears the voice and uh, he plucks up courage b- brings out his sword and will tank but does the voice distract him and then he, it puts him off and then he dies <laughs> wow you put it like that I oh, think hmm, it might just be a bit too much for him so we'll, we'll give him a disadvantage on this melee attack and yes he, he misses that would have been a, a hit but uh, oh no, heat of the moment stuff, this. Icky. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do another attempt to get the child off the guard. So another grapple attempt. Mm. That's slightly better. Ooh, oh, blimey. Nope. Angry troll. I'm underestimating the strength of the child. <laughs> it's, it's still a troll. Absolutely. Hector. I will try and stab it with my rapier. Oh, God. Oh, dear. No good. Next up is the troll. It'll go back to dealing with the daddy figure. And hits. Oh, word. Oh, five damage to the dad. Next up, Nomo. I will go with another fire arrow. Finish <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's a hell. hell. <laughs> um, do you want to describe how you finish this young troll off? I aim it right at the back of his neck and hopefully spear it through to set his hair and head on fire. Oh, it fizzles. <laughs> <laughs> it fizzles, but that fizzle is enough to finish him off troll down. And yes, it's getting smoky. And you don't think it's just from the trolls? Daddy! Um, how smoky is it? It's a little uncomfortable now. You will get a disadvantage on your rolls for searching, but you can still search. I'd quite like to get out. You can search yeah. in five minutes. Let's get out. I'm going to yell to Pebble to unblock the thing, and I'm going to bring the girl up, and then we can go to the library. <laughs> Make it that's so easy. <laughs> It's just a library. But, but we should probably, once the air clears, we should check the place out. There might be oh, more yeah. trolls, or there there could be treasure. Forget about the treasure. <laughs> what? what? We have a master to serve. That doesn't sound like you at all. <laughs> it's not going to take too long to search the place. 
Yeah, Possibly you could eat, eat the deer. Okay, you unblock it. The smoke slowly dissipates, and then you can look through the troll hovel. Oh, hello, chaps. Find anything nice down there? Still cautiously, I, I don't know where these other tunnels are going. Did I find any other sort of holes up top? We're all the second perception there. Okay. It was nah. just, just the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much the whole of a complex that the trolls have dug for themselves. Anyone can do a search, see what you find. Um, but cool. yeah, I can I can give you the essentials. You will find the table. You will find the few tokens that they owned. If we take the youngling outside, is it daylight? Is it? It is. Yeah. Does it turn to stone? There is a a reaction. Ooh. It turns grey. Oh nice. No. I've always wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> Hector, what you find? Do I find a, a sword called Sting? First of all, Icky, you find a small bag of gems. Quick, eat them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the very antidote you need him. <laughs> Hector, you find two bottles, two vials of something. Two vials? Yes. Um, I pocket them stealthily and examine them in my own time. Okay. Note them down. Ask me about them. Obviously, the father is delighted beyond belief. He is extremely happy. The daughter, very shaken, but relieved to see the day again. Here, I'd be sorry to let her go. She was very useful in the short time I knew her. But your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> he can't help but give a little laugh at this. Oryx, give me an intelligence check. You... Without a doubt, you recognise this horse to be Loki, who you named in the first town you were in. It appeared that it had a short career as a guard's horse in Midness. Awesome. Stone the crow. Okay. Hector, you could ride my horse if I could ride Loki. Lucky. Loki. I compare the two. (laughs) Different build. It's like comparing a Ford to... A Porsche. No, not, that's the restaurant. A Ferrari to a Porsche. A Ferrari to a okay. Porsche. They I, both I, have their I, have I, like different qualities. More importantly, I stroke Loki to see if there's any affinity there or any bond. Not to you. I'm not particularly <laughs> good with horses. <laughs> bite you. This is one which Oryx was better at before than at animal handling wise than it was with you. But by all means, give me an animal handling check. Bluff it up. Miss. 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 You got a 15. Seems to tolerate you. I go up to Oryx's current horse and do the same thing there. Already. 14. Tolerating as well. As amiable as each other, essentially. Okay, I I look at Oryx and say, Remember this. You owe me one. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, friend. It's a strange day, but alliances must. And he says, take care, Lice. No, you're quite welcome, sir. Take care. Yeah, Any more? I'm glad you recognise me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put a good word in for us at the town. Say you haven't seen us. He nods and says, may Pelor be with you. Cheerio. Farewell. Farewell. Yeah, nice work, guys. Not, I don't think anybody was hit. Nope. No, dead. Yeah. Right, which way? Northwest. Okay. I know that Pevel was keen on sticking to the edge of the marshland. Or do you want yeah. to just go straight to the dot? Da 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 da. Da da da. I think it's a good idea to stick to the edge of the marshland as long as we can. And yeah, just use that as kind of our waypoint or whatever. Okay. That is approximately due west. You know that there are settlements within the Martians. So, and mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes, absolutely. So I'm just going to transport you briefly. You have no issues getting there. It's very quiet. The air, the weather is holding people back from travelling, it seems. What time of day is it? It's mid-afternoon, so still light. Oh. Glass of hymns. What type of library is it? Is it like a library where you check out books or an ancient library with books? 
I would assume that it's the kind of ancient thing, seeing as how it's known by a name that isn't used anymore. Oh. Or at least we know it be called by a name that isn't used anymore. So I'd assume it's some super old storehouse of books rather than, like, you go in and you, you know, check out a bunch of things. <laughs> how much time do we have left to get there and back? Well, you've had 24 hours so far. So what if it's a mobile library on wheels? And we were chasing it forever. <laughs> Damn it, you what, saw what through my plan. The mobile ah. library of ah. <laughs> As you reach the marshlands, yeah, there is some noise. There's almost a, a rumble and a hum above you, which has been going on ever since you left Hayes' lair. But otherwise, you can hear some of nature doing its work around you. The path is difficult to follow at this point. I think if we try and kind of skirt around the edges of it. Sure. So if we kind of try and go across kind of the way. Icky, fly very high and see the best route to the library. <laughs> I can do that. Thanks. Okay. As you get high, I want you to roll a d20. Oh, good work. You can feel above you the hum and... You seem to have an instinct for danger above you. But yeah, it's, it's certainly volatile clouds. Okay, yeah. Half a mind on that. You look around. There's a certain mist at this time of day. Some way in to the marsh, there are lights and some smoke, which is working differently to the rest. Okay, that's weird. So did, did you say some smoke working differently? Yes. As in, um, it's, it's, it's not just hanging there, it's going vertically up. Oh. Can I just kind of fly a little bit closer, not too close, and just see if I can, I don't know, try and peer through the mist a bit, see if I can see any what's causing these lights. Okay, <laughs> so you're flying over similar height. Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me another roll, d20. Actually, maybe a little bit lower. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can roll, or I can roll another d20, but I mean, if I if I want to get a closer look, I'll probably go a bit lower, but. Oh, well, oh, right. hey, hey. No, 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 that was just rolling a 20, not a d20. Oh, so. <laughs> you are. I actually got an 8. Okay. <laughs> yep. You go a bit further down, and yes, you can see there are some lights that flicker as you go across okay. and then vanish again. Okay. And a bit further down, you can hear some loud croaking, hmm. and then you can see lights of huts. Okay. In fact, there are some huts a bit further along too. So, Wrong so, so, so there are there seem to be two settlements close by. Okay. One is right, in the so direction I'll... you're heading. Okay. Um, I'll make a kind of mental note of the sort of direction they're in, then fly back to these guys and tell them what I've seen. Not a problem. Okay, so you hear Icky's report. We should avoid these like the plague. Yeah, if we've got enough time to get somewhere else where we can make camp, then yeah, avoiding them seems like a good idea. Yeah, okay. Lead us back round somewhere else. So do you avoid the marsh altogether? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yes, agreed. Yeah, um, I think so. I mean, it looks like we, we don't need to go straight through it. We could probably just go round it, stick to the edges. Okay. In which case, if we go back to the map, you get to, let's say, the second square there of the marsh without a problem. It's getting dark okay. now. So this is after another 50 miles or so. Keep an eye out for somewhere to stop, I guess. Okay. Yeah, set up camp, set watches. Yep. Ready, show you. No problem. So as you set up camp, you find the edges, the ground is solid. There's a thin stretch of grassland still here. Are you looking for any cover or just solid ground? Plus some cover, maybe, perhaps. How close are we to the river? There is no river here. All oh, right. It's very boggy at this point, the marsh. So... I think solid ground is more important, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. So you settle down. Campfire? What's your provisions for the evening and rest? Do you want to do a campfire, giving how visible the, the other ones were to us? Do we want to attract attention? We are quite close to uh, the frog people, wherever they I, are. I would want to have a campfire if we had marshmallows, but... <laughs> I doubt any frog people will have any of those, so... <laughs> you 
probably shouldn't make a fire. Where else are you oh. going to find marshmallows apart from by a marsh? <laughs> but we also need a mellow. And so, none of so, us are particularly mellow at the moment. No. So we, we would set watches. Yep. All right. Who's up first? I'll go first. Um, oh, I'll go first. Oh, or second or third. Whoever is going on watch first, yes. roll the d20 for me. Okay. Okay. Eight. Nothing much seems to happen. You hear the different noises of the marsh, but you don't see anything strange or suspicious. And your hour goes by. Good. Sleep. Who's up next? Um, sure, I'll go sure. next. Who is it, Hector or Ricky? Go for it, Ricky. Okay. Okay, Ricky, roll d20. Okay. <laughs> and roll a perception check for me. I do. <laughs> it feels like you're being watched. Okay. That's the first feeling you get. Can I see anything around at all, or is, is it just a feeling at the moment? You think you can see, like, two pinpricks, something in the edge of the marsh. I might wake up someone who has dark vision. Okay. So probably not more than Hector, because Hector's just going to be like, leave me alone. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> that is so Hector. <laughs> okay. No, no, you wake up. Okay, I will uh, look around, seeing what, what he's indicating towards me. Yeah. All right. Two large eyes, almost like slits, stare back at you. It appears to be a very large frog looking on. Frogman. I'll uh, quietly knock an arrow, just a regular one, and uh, try and motion to... Um, Icky to uh, wake the others, and I'll keep my eye on this guy. Okay, I'll wake everyone else up. Okay. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Why are you waking me up? It's not my turn yet. <laughs> no more goats. For sleeping, would you have unarmed yourself? Yeah. I always have my magic, though. Yeah, I, I don't have armor. <laughs> I always have my fists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need armor, I have my fists. Next level up, I, I won't need armor either, but I'm at the moment I do. Okay. So, Noma, currently the movement's with you, as everyone else is being woken up. I'm just watching very closely if it's making any kind of aggressive movements. I'm just waiting for the rest of the group to wake up. I won't shoot it unless it like looks like it's springing out at me or something like that. Okay. I'm going to roll a moose check. Roll a witch check? Moose, moose. check. Oh, how, how do I do that? No, no, yeah. What? What do you want? I'm not. I'm not putting my armor on because you, oh. <laughs> I don't leave the tent. Classic actor. Yes. <laughs> Nomo, you see the frog's area, sort of the neckline, as the jawline, as it were, blow out, puff outwards, and then back in again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll keep watching it. I'm not. Okay. Oh, that does doesn't watching. seem too aggressive. It blinks. Boom, fire. Boom, 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 fire. Boom. Do we still have that food packet? The one that gives us unlimited food? Yeah, you have that packet. Um, I'm going to unwrap it and take the layer of food off and throw it to the frog. All right. Crikey. You guys have changed. What's happened to you, Van Drills? <laughs> Terry's okay. killing children, and now Finn's feeding dogs. <laughs> Are you aiming just for the area below the frog, or...? I'm aiming for the ground in front of him. Okay. Yep. Splat. It looks on. If you're hungry, take it and uh, be gone. With all my charisma. <laughs> sure, give me a persuasion check. Essentially, is what you hear. <laughs> and then its eyes dart a little. And You're going to give it the Kermit voice? <laughs> I am not giving this frog a Kermit voice. I'll go up. <laughs> um, I think you should. <laughs> who says it's a talking frog? It turns a little. There's a mini hop towards you. Okay, and its tongue keeps... comes out. Your weasel, Oryx. 
is caught up in the tongue and the weasel goes Shh! straight back to the frog who then makes another croaking noise. <laughs> Still, we can't attack it. That's the circle of life. <laughs> wow. I'll just summon a new one in. They're very expendable. Ben, are you drunk? <laughs> I could just summon an owl in and the owl could eat them. It's or a seahorse. Seahorse. Forget a dingo stole my baby. A toad ate my weasel. <laughs> okay. So you, you, you watch as nature takes its course. <laughs> the weasel disappears. <laughs> Frog continues to watch hey. you for a bit. Try and scare him off? I'll just tell him to be gone. You got your weasel. There's no more. All right. Yeah, I'll just say, blah, blah. Go away. I'll cast light, John. Oh, right. Whereabouts? Right in the middle of us. Well, light is just it's, it's something that I touch. Or can I... Uh... Yeah. yeah, it's an object. Okay. Yeah. I'll touch my axe and then hold my axe up high. And you say... By power, I'll be gone! <laughs> Impressive. Do you want to give me an intimidation? Absolutely. Go on. Oh, bollocks. 11. Okay, the frog does react to this. It backs off, and as you shout, its croaking starts to get louder. I think we should run, guys. <laughs> Can I shoot it? I'll ask the group. Can I shoot it? No! Yes! Shoot it! Get that your weasel! Shoot it! Ow! I'm gonna shoot it. Fine, I'm gonna use my fireball. No, wait, no! Don't! Don't! Can I take a shot, John? No! Yes, of course you can. Yes. No, of course you can't. <laughs> Whoa! You own this game, I tell you. Yep, um, 11 it does. Again, the noise goes up and the large frog backs off. But the booming sound can be heard nonetheless. What do you guys want to do? Let's just go away. Move away from the marsh, maybe. Run! Run away! Let's move into the desert. Keep watching the woods while the rest pack up camp and we go? Yeah. I'm trying to get back to sleep. <laughs> As a party, you're all packing up except Hector's tent. Somebody give Hector a kick. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just make a move. Get out of it. Ten minutes, and everything's pretty much packed up. Hector, are you joining in this surge of activity? Okay. Wait, um, I, well, I, I look well, at it. Why, why are you packing up? We're surrounded by frogs. Yeah, he's calling his froggy friends. How many they look frogs? dangerous. Hundreds of them. But they're pretty Hundreds small. Of them. Big biting one. They just um, ate Oryx's weasel. Oh dear. <laughs> well, where are you going to go this time of night? You're a bloody dark elf. You should be leading. And this thing is still croaking some sort of warning? Is he still within bow shot? He stopped croaking. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him again. What? All right. And as your arrow goes flying into the marshland, small on legs frog people with spears run out of the marsh and straight towards you. Right, get on the horses and ride. Let's go. All right. We'll leave it at that moment. But essentially, we'll reconvene with frog people storming out to meet your leaving <laughs> party. Cool. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, guys. Good work. Cool. That was a good, good session. No, Thank you very much. Cheers, everyone. Just, just a reminder, I'm not here next week. So beat the frog people for me. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Well, I'll see what we can do. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Have a good night. Thanks, John. Cheers. See you later.